Okay, so we're going to take a look at the June budget. I know it's the almost the end of June, but we're going to do the budget update. I'm really sorry I've been gone for the past couple of weeks, you guys. You will see in this budget that it's been a crazy couple of weeks, but the main reason that I did not have a video for you guys is because my phone died, which you guys will see in this, and I could not record audio for longer than two minutes or the audio would stop recording. And I was unable to back up my phone, so I lost a lot of stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So first off, we start up with income. You guys, we have my week one income, bonus bucks, discover cashback, and visa cashback. This is the month that I can't do all of my cash outs for my cash apps. Um, so this means every six months I'm going to try to cash out what I can um, just to give a little extra income. Week two was the only week of regular income in the entire month because in week three I got a bonus of $500. It was absolutely amazing. I'm super excited. It was not expected at all. And in week four, which is today when I'm filming this, you guys, my bonus took effect. So this six ninety a one is my new weekly paycheck. Um, at, this is after taxes, after 401k, after insurance, after everything that needs taken out comes out. This is my new paycheck. So my total income for June is $3,438.81. Remember, this is not the final June budget because there will be more spending. So for gifts, I spent $9,403. I had, yeah, there was a lot going on, you guys. Um, but I have $85.65 left over. This is interesting to see, uh, as you'll see, every dollar has a little bit of a different setup, so I am getting used to this. So for giving, um, I had the for church food pantry and then church, so that is in here, and I have $50 left over. My grandma has paid me back for everything. She actually has $0.57 cents that can go towards something else, and there's nothing in other. Housing and utilities. My rent came out as planned. My water, I budgeted 40 initially, and it was actually only 33.36. My natural gas came out as planned at 31.12. My electricity, you guys, it was 95.72. It has gone so much higher than I expected it to so quickly. Um, so you will see that I am going to raise my electric quite a bit. Um, next month in July. Um, and I am sorry that I have already updated this. You're not going to see any changes being made. And that is because I have filmed this video or attempted to film this video many times. My internet came out as planned at $70. Household maintenance, you guys, we did a lot of, well, all of this pretty much was for gardening stuff. The exception of that was Aldi's where I bought toilet paper and I think I bought freezer bags. I think that's what I did. But I have $116.71 left over. Lawn care, I have nothing. Pet care, $50 went in. Nothing has come out. $77.67 left over. And my trash has come out as planned. It actually doesn't come out to the last day of the month. But I do have the prices and the auto pay set up. You guys, this gas. This is giving me a little bit of concern. Um, So... We're really close. We only have $5.35 left over. That is, I think, the closest I've ever come to going over gas. And because of gas prices, I will be raising the amount that I'm putting towards gas in July's budget. I'm just going to tell you that right now. And that is because I know I'm going to be traveling in July. And it's just crazy to me. Um, maintenance. I haven't spent anything in maintenance. I have $290. Uh, I will need next month to get an oil change. Groceries. I have $20.64 left over. I spent $132.42. And you guys, I'm going to be honest that most of this was not stock up. There was a few items that I stocked up on. But one of the things that I'm really enjoying right now as I'm doing gardening and things like that is exploring new 
uh, recipes, new foods, new techniques for cooking. I really got out of cooking for a while and I really want to get back into cooking. So I'm allowing myself to spend a little bit more money. Um, now, obviously, inflation is also uh, taking part in the increase in my grocery bill, but I'm going to be honest, a lot of it is just me exploring these foods and also my boyfriend is eating dinner with me um, a few nights a week, so that's also raising my bill just a little bit. And you guys, I'm really proud of myself. Um, not only did I raise my eating out budget thinking that I was going to spend more, um, but I actually spent under the $50 that I initially budgeted. Now, it is a, uh, how do I say this? Even though we only have a week left, you guys, I am going to be in Nashville. So it is very, very possible that I spend a good chunk of this money that's remaining. But to be so close to the end of the month and know that I have not spent a lot in eating out and knowing that it's it's still doable um, just makes me really excited. Then we go to lifestyle. My phone bill came out as planned. This will be slightly up next month just because I have a $45 activation fee for my new phone. Entertainment, you guys, I'm going kayaking. In Nashville, I'm going kayaking, and then I also bought uh, fries for date night. My boyfriend bought the pizza, and so that's how we do things. So I have $104.76 left. Medical, I have spent $45 for my chiropractor visit. I did also order my contacts and I am waiting to see if I have enough on my insurance benefit card. Um, if not, I will have to take out of the medical. Clothing, I bought a few items and there's actually one more thing that I did order, but I don't want to put everything on here for you guys. And then refund, last month I ordered something from Shein and I took most of it back. So I got a nice little refund there. Hair and Beauty, $100. Netflix, my parents are paying me. Um, coming up, my Spotify has not come out yet. Acorns, doing good. Insurance benefit card, just had my monthly pharmacy and I'm thinking it should be under seventeen or $700 for my contacts. I'm hoping it is and I can use up the rest of that card. Um, my car insurance, we just put another $60 in there. My car tags did go. Um, so I had $67.50 for my car tags, and I moved everything but the $10 per month, uh, which is $22.50, to the future house fund, which you guys will see. House is just sitting at $400. Next month is the payment. Identity, uh, we have gotten that to do the 200 needed, and my taxes were doing the $42 a month. You guys, this is savings. This is where things get crazy, but I do want to show you something else first. This is it. Um, so my boss gave me another bonus of a pretty good amount, and I went shopping. And I'm pretty excited about it pretty excited about it. I did spend lots of money, um, but I that was my instruction is it had to be on shopping. Um, it had to be on myself and it all had to be done in one day. So that's what I did. I did end up taking some of it back and moving the leftover uh, $22.52 to technology, um, leaving initially uh, $1,086.75 in my phone fund. Um, but my new iPhone only cost $380.39 because I traded in my old sad phone um, for the new phone and they gave me $800. So it cost me $100 for the phone and I went ahead and I bought a good durable case. I bought the charging block for the new iPhone adaption since it's no longer USB and I bought a screen protector and had them put that on. So that and then all of the taxes and everything came out to $380.39, way less than I thought I was initially going to have to pay because I didn't want to do monthly payments on the phone. Um, so super excited. So I moved the leftover $228.88 to Future House. And then I have $500 left over in technology for any incidentals that come up. For instance, 
my phone broke very quickly um, and very suddenly. I knew I was going to have to get a new fun- phone soon. And it just all of a sudden, within a week span, decided to have all of these issues. Um, so I have an iPad. I have a computer um, that are both older. So I want some money set aside for emergency situations such as things stop working. Um, and then I moved my leftover money from car tags, my leftover money from technology, and any leftover money that I had in my my account, which is two eighty one fifty, meaning that I have a total of eight hundred and twenty one fifty two in Future House as of right now. So not bad. A good chunk of my money went to savings this month, and I'm very proud of that. Um, and with the new income. I'm hoping to increase the amount that I'm saving and continue decreasing my spending while also still enjoying my life. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I'm so sorry that I was late on getting this to you guys. I hope you guys understand with all of my phone issues what is happening.